Hello there and welcome to Zero to Hero, my ultimate road to glory in FIFA 21. To say I'm hyped for today's video is a massive understatement. Just please don't mention 7-2 guys, okay? Please. So we start off today's video on the road to glory, Zero to Hero, with a bang guys. First player vote of the new FIFA and I've gone for Thiago Silva. Comment down below which player you Chose. Firstly, big thanks to EA Sports for the early access to FIFA 21, and this is presented by EA Game Changer. So, as you guys can see, we chose Thiago Silva there. As for me, I mean, to be honest, I don't really get why we had to vote for these kind of two players. Are they really going to get in forms? You know, if, if either, obviously both will get, well, one will get ones to watch. Are they really going to get an inform? Let me know. Anyway, what I really want to tell you guys about today is obviously the trading we've managed to do right now um, and also to reiterate the importance of squad battles trading this Sunday night. Again, if you guys can't be online um, when the squad battles rewards do release, then you are going to be missing out, unfortunately, on a lot of profit as the bidding you can do on that time for, you know, overpowered, cheap, you know, 3k to 10k price range players is crazy. So... What is going on today, guys? Well, Sandro Tonali released onto FIFA Ultimate Team. And another, another big tip, if you're starting FIFA this week, is to do this SBC as fast as possible. Why? I wouldn't advise doing it for the fact that he might get a few informed. That is not the thinking behind this, guys. This is a guaranteed, obviously, ones to watch, brackets, not found, player card in Ultimate Team. However, this apparently is 8,000 coins to do. You can use this once to watch in potentially a big once to watch SBC when that comes out. If there's, for example, like an Ultimate Scream SBC in the future or like a Footmas SBC, which requ requires a once to watch card, Tonali can be your guy. So definitely keep that in mind. If they release a once to watch guaranteed pack, I'm going to use Tonali on my Road to Glory in this SBC. So big plans and big Steps taken forward here, guys, for the RTG. First things first, we've got 474,000 coins in the sixth episode of the series. And I want to say as well, from the bottom of my heart, I've never been this motivated for a FIFA series in my life. Guys, we're going the distance this year. I cannot wait, man. Your support is insane. The comments I'm reading on each video, the tweets I'm seeing, the stream messages on Twitch, like it's all just, it's emotional to read, man. It really is. Thank you for your consistent support here on the channel. For zero tier and everything else, man. It's crazy. So, the first SPC we do complete here is around the world. And again, you've got to be doing these SPCs ASAP, guys. Like, the price of these SPCs right now is so fantastic. I'll tell you right now, actually, as you'll see what I'm doing on the, uh, on the video. But the price of these SPCs is stunning. And especially for the beginning of the game, you have to be doing these three sets of advanced SBCs. If you're not, you're missing out on some fantastic packs. So, for the League and Nation Hybrid, it's 60,000 coins on PlayStation, 66k there on Xbox. Hybrid Leagues, for, I believe, a rare Mega Pack there, you get a Prime Electrum Mega Pack by itself, rare players pack. Guys, you're getting like 200k's worth of packs for 46k for the Hybrid Leagues. That's insane. 35k pack, 50k pack, 25k pack, 15k pack. It's insane. Um, the Hybrid Nations, I believe, costs around 30k, and you get a Prime Gold Player pack, which is 45k. You get a Rare player, rare Players pack, a Gold Players pack. So again, all, all of that added up, guys. In total, for all of the advanced SBCs, that is 120k's worth of packs. Sorry, SBCs. For about 350k worth of packs. It's absolutely brilliant. So make sure that you guys are definitely going out there onto those advanced SPCs, getting them done. As you guys can see as well, um, my man Imran run there said, yo, when I saw you discard Dean Smith. <laughs> I discarded Dean Smith, didn't I? Oh, God. I knew shit was about to hit the fan. Yeah, it did. I uh, thought I might have got rid of uh, my whole pack right there. Also, guys, big tip when you're looking for those bronze players, as you might want to be using bronze players in this SPC, make sure you're not just, you know, spending 10k. Go, go onto the market, have a look at how much they actually are. Um, also, the menus right now, guys, are really slow. Feedback has been given to EA Sports to improve the speed of the current menus. They're very laggy. 
Um, so hopefully that can be addressed. But uh, yeah, we managed to get that bronze beast there. I think his name was, uh, was it Clay? I think his name was. Also, we had my man here with the uh, interesting comment here, guys, from uh, Jack. So quick tip on squad battles penalties, Matt. Always aim for the roof of the net when you shoot low. You miss 80% of the time. Wait, always aim for the roof of the net when you shoot. Ah, when you shoot low. Oh, okay, got it. So always aim for the roof of the net. Okay, tip taken. I need to probably take that tip. Also, Penanka penalties can also be quite good in the new FIFA guys as well. Massive gameplay overpowered um, tip or secret coming on later and into the video, guys. Big thanks to my man FIFA analysis for um, tweeting out before. I will show you guys what that is at the end of the video. It's crazy. It's something as it's something more powerful than like near post finishing in uh, FIFA 20. It's crazy. Anyway, we move on in the zero to era road to glory with completing this next batch of SBC. So League of Nation basics really should have probably done this like three episodes ago, but because I've been trading a lot, because I've been like building new teams and I mean playing a absolute ton of squad battles as well. I really wanted to focus on that this week. So finally, we're getting around to doing these SPCs, guys. And we have, we're going to have like 12 packs to open in this video, guys. I'm not joking. It's going to be crazy. But as you can see, marquee matchups already completed there. Hybrid leagues yet to complete. League and Nation a hybrid as well. So hopefully we can do that. Anyway, we move on to the next comment from the last episode. I think ultimate should be difficult like unbeatable. That's the whole point of that difficulty there, says Oli. Thanks, Oli, for this comment. Playing against someone um, slash something better that, than you will always improve how good you are. I do agree with that, to be fair. And I'm like, ah, oh, I think so. You know, would you nerf it at all? I think I'd potentially, I'd defo nerf the uh, goalkeepers on penalties. I think I agree, actually. Looking back, I might be wrong on that from the last episode, guys. Let me know if you agree or disagree about that. Should ultimate be as difficult as it currently is? We're all saying it. It's insanely tough. I'm, I'm going to be surprised if a lot of you guys manage to actually, like, consistently win an ultimate. It's incredibly difficult. I think I won 5 out of 9 or 5 out of 10. Very difficult. So, I was currently completing this SPC, guys, and halfway through, I realized, oh yeah, you actually do need loyalty. So, um, this is one of the more, more tougher SPCs where you do require loyalty. Also, guys, the loyalty glitch does happen, does um, work again, this FIFA. If you don't know what the loyalty glitch is in Ultimate Team, maybe this is your first ever FIFA. To get more loyalty in just 10 games time and in about 20 minutes, so it saves you, what, at least, how long is that? At least, it saves you like four or five hours of playing FIFA, right? All you got to do is go into single player, um, maybe squad battles or even like, yes, obviously, oh, it's got to be squad battles, doesn't it? Go into squad battles, face the current team of the week on beginner, load the game, wait for the scoreboard to come up, dashboard, uh, sorry, press pause, dashboard, FIFA, reload FIFA, you'll have one game played and no losses. Very, very simple um, tip there for you guys to get more loyalty. Anyway, we do complete that um, SBC. Now, I wanted to get onto a topic that a lot of you guys are very intrigued about, and, and obviously it's starter teams, right? We're all building our own like cheap starter teams or like maybe overpowered starter team. And one thing I want to say, I thought about this in the car before, and I was like, I was even saying to that, I was like, you know what? I had a really good idea there. Building a starter team in FIFA 21 right now is a bit like choosing your favorite meal deal. You've got to have something set in your mind as to what you're going to get. For me, it would be a probably Southern chili chicken wrap with a extra large Twix and also cherry Pepsi Max. I think, honestly, that might be a 10 out of 10 meal deal. Just saying, hat was like a sushi a bounty, and then sparkling water, which I think is probably a 2 out of 10 in my opinion. I did say that to her, and I might be, um, yeah, might be, uh, might be, might be, I don't know what I'm saying, might be very well spoken to later. <laughs> I'm always wrong, aren't I, guys? Anyway, as we go on to the next part of the video, comparing meal deals to starter teams, and it makes sense, right? You want to go into Tesco, man, and choose something brilliant. You want to go in with your head held high, Choose chicken and stuffing sandwich. Maybe choose, uh, what else? Dr. Pepper. I like a, I like a light Ribena. Let me know what your meal deal is in the comments down below. But what I'm trying to say is, man, you've got to go into Tesco's with your mind set on what you're going to get. Why does that even possibly relate to FIFA? I'm going to get to that now. Because when on, you're on FIFA, right, you want to have focused. You want to be focused on which league you're on for. So for me, 
in FIFA 21 right now, guys. Sedia is a brilliant starter team for your FIFA. Bundesliga is stunning. Premier League is good for starter teams, but obviously with the price, it's a very risky kind of price to go in with at the beginning of FIFA. But for me, Bundesliga, League 1's great for this um, new FIFA as well. But having that mindset of knowing what you want, what is overpowered, you know, what meal deal tastes amazing, what player is amazing in Ultimate Team right now, have in your head what you want, and then you feel so much better once you start your Ultimate Team journey. So, as you can see, hey Matt, I'm loving the videos, watching from Australia. And I'm like, oh, that's awesome, thanks man, must be late then. He's like, yeah, it's 1am currently, but I had to stay up. So, that's awesome, man, what a guy from Australia, never been there, man. Seeing the support on the Road to Glory is genuinely mind-blowing, and uh, the hype is real, man, for this FIFA. It's a, it's a lot more hype than the last FIFA, guys, so... The uh, support from around the world is madness. But hopefully that meal deal comparison will help you, you know, choosing what you really want at the beginning of FIFA. Um, and yeah, just going for it, right? So as you guys can see, um, we do complete some more objectives here as well. And I've had a lot of fun grinding this. It took about maybe about two hours to get these SPCs complete because I really wanted to just to um, focus on what's good also big tip massive thank you to the legends and the footbin i'll leave the links down below to the squads that i use so they can get some thumbs up on the squads and um, big thanks to them always use footbin guys if you can to um get these squads done there's always loads of solutions ready as soon as like a new sbc comes out and it's a brilliant way to do sbcs in a very fast way i use it all the time as you can see though silver pack controversial with this but i think the silver pack looks even better than the gold pack this fifa i like that animation a lot um, it's nice. Anyway, we get that silver pack there. We go through that objective pack, and they are the packs I've got ready, and they're raring to go. However, time to show you guys the most overpowered way to score in FIFA 21 right now. As you guys can see, get behind the defensive line, press R1 and cross, and look at this, guys. Look at that, how powerful that is. I mean, it does look incredibly unrealistic, but it's so powerful right now in Ultimate Team. Don't like, sleep on this one, guys. It's insane. It's crazy. Absolutely mad overpowered. So, guys, we're ready for the packs of the Road to Glory Zero to Hero, guys. And by the way, do leave a like if you're liking the video so far on the series. So, big tip again. Guys, every episode, I want to give you guys tips and tricks to help you in FIFA 21. And this has to be the tutorial section. So, if you, don't, so if you guys didn't know, you can actually just go in tutorials here. And as you can see, it literally gives you really useful tips and tricks to improve the game. First one is individual player lock. This is a really important skill that you guys must learn to improve at the game. So as you can see, press in both the left and right stick to lock your current player, even while off the ball, continuing your run while controlling your teammates' movement with the right stick before calling for return pass. This is very, very strong in the new FIFA. Also, as you guys can see, it's got one of my most anticipated, um, I guess, features this game as well, directed AI runs. Take full control over the direction of the runs, your teammates by flicking the right stick immediately after triggering a run, pressing L1. Also, we have agile dribbling. Fast footwork gives you greater control and responsiveness when retaining the ball and creating space in one-on-one -on -one situations by holding R1. And again, really, really overpowered agile dribbling, guys, in the new game. And again, there, directed pass and go. Decide where your teammates continue their run after making a pass by immediately flicking the right stick in the desired direction. So hopefully that helps you guys out at the beginning of FIFA. And also, let me know if you guys have just got the full game of FIFA 21. It's October 6th now. And uh, yeah, I'm anticipating a lot of you guys uh, coming on to FIFA 20, 21. So as you guys can see the result, it's pretty nice how we've got the new kind of, yeah, tab there with ones to watch SBC out. We've got the new info there. So it's cool having all this new info. The menus do need to be fixed a bit, but hopefully they'll improve that with like a quick update, right? So first things first, 13 packs. Now, I believe... 10 of these are tradable. If we somehow get our first walkout of the series today, I'll be over the moon. And you know what? Because it's a special day, guys, we are putting on the Astro headset right now. We're going to get into it and see what we can get. So Kadara back there from Czech Republic is our first player. I believe this is untradable. So we'll see how this goes. Um, in fact, is that is that untradable? He might not be. No, it is untradable. Still, that's okay. Also, another trick there, guys. Always, obviously, switch your untradable with tradables. However, this time didn't work because I already had the untradable Leo Baptistao. In fact, I've already got him in my club, right? I'm going to keep that card. 
as he's played a few times, and I would like to keep that card for, for the memories on the Road to Glory account. Right, premium goal pack for, I believe, completing an objective. I think it was an objective, this one. We haven't got our first walkout yet, guys, of the series, so maybe today can be that day. Two days after we lost to Aston Villa. Please, can we not do that again? Pablo Fornals might be a decent player to sell um, with, like, a future uh, SBC, so might keep him for now. Does that, does that sell? Like, I don't think it's extinct because I think the transfer market, guys, is being a bit glitchy. For example, if I search for, like, Messi and I search for his price, so like, let's say his buy now is averaging 950k, right? If I search for, like, 960, I'd get the impression that he'd be 960 because it doesn't list all the players below that price, so it's being a bit weird right now. Anyway, we do have another premium goal pack. I think this one might be untradeable. I think it is. Either way, a board here would be brilliant or a walkout. We're looking for those big players today. We get Lucas Vasquez. I can't see him staying around Madrid, guys. I don't know. You know when you just see around Madrid play, like, I don't know if they'll stay there that long. Um, this guy might go for a thousand Andrew coins. Always check prices, guys. A lot of people forget about that as well. You never know. A non-rare could be really desirable thanks to a marquee matchup. You never know. Maybe to call Luca might be 4K. Normally he's like 900 coins. You never know. Right. We get bought. Striker in form. I believe that's our first in form of the series. Again, keep these in forms, guys, if you can. The player of the month usually has an in form or some kind of special requirement. Either way, we've now got an in form and a wants to watch card in Tonali. So I'm buzzing, man. That's great. We also get a few. Oh, Alessandrini. Guys, he's like 4K, 3K, 3.3, right? Definitely selling him for about probably 3.1. Should go for that actually today. That's awesome, guys. So always check these prices, man. You never know. More pie there from Brighton. Is he expensive? To be honest, once the league SPCs come out, some of these cards are really skyrocket in price. Um, fair up there is, I believe, is he 1,000 coins? There's only 10K. Oh, no, 5K. This guy can't be more than 1,000 coins, surely. 850, okay. So that isn't bad, man. And again, if I wanted to, I could always quick sell this card, get 10,000 coins there. But for the play of the month's sake, we're going to keep hold of him. Um, I actually do need some more of these kind of players right now as well for SBCs myself. So I always like keeping a lot of these cards for the beginning of the game. So I'm actually going to go with the mixed player pack. One rare guaranteed. Um, seeing if we get a walkout. Three bars, meaning it's going to be... Okay, Audrey Zola. Three bars, guys, means it's always like a non-walkout. Two bars is a guaranteed walkout. We get... Um, Audrey Zola might be a few, two, and a 1,000 coins. You never know. Some of these cards might sell. Always check the silvers, especially, guys, in these kind of packs. You never know, especially once those SBCs start rolling out. Um, is this guy worth anything? Is he from what league is that? League, league two? Hold on. Is he really that? No, I was going to say. Honestly, some of these cards are getting me hyped, guys. It isn't good, is it? This guy, because of his, of his position, sorry, might be 2,000. Go on. Surprise me. 1.3, 1.2. Okay. Either way, we're getting a lot of good players here for SBCs. Right. Let's get into three common goal player pack. That just sounds like a terrible pack, doesn't it? Oh, my God. It's not a board. It's Maite there from France. So he'll go right into the club there. He can be stored. To be honest, I'll take that pack. It's good for SBCs. I wouldn't mind doing loads of them, actually. Right, we have some more big packs on the way. So from here on out, we have got superb packs to open, guys. From grinding the game, from grinding the road to glory, that might not be bored. Andre Silva. Have a feeling he might be good to keep hold of because he's got Portuguese nation there. Good, um, very good. Um, obviously, league, Bundesliga for league SBCs as well. Some of these cards, guys, honestly, they might sell. Traore, does he sell? Maybe that, oh, 800 coins. Does, does this guy sell? Andre Silva. Hyped him up. He is maybe 2k. Yeah, 2k. I'll take it. So if we sold all of these cards, it'd be pretty decent um, profit, to be fair. Like each pack, we're getting around, what, 7k at least? So no matter what, we're going to make profit, hopefully. Right. Uh, let's go for Prime Mixed Player Pack. Let's see how we do, man. Cheers, by the way, guys. Let's go. 
We're looking for our first walkout of the series. Not joking. We have, we're yet to get a walkout. CDM Danilo Pereira. It's fun grinding all these packs, guys, and just, you know, opening for you, man. Very fun. Right, we get Air James FIFA there. Um, we don't really get anyone else who is decent. Um, so, to be honest, this guy was a bit expensive before, like 1.9. He's back to 1K now. Is Pereira expensive because of Liga Nos? Not really. Maybe, actually, maybe 3K. I might, might take that, actually. This guy might sell for, like, 700 coins. But, again, it's more coins for the RTG, right? We're going to go Prime Electrum. I'll take a board. Defo take a board for the RTG here, guys. Will we get our first walkout? That is not a board. Still struggling to tell the difference. Bender from Bundesliga. Can there be a cheeky... um? What's that guy? Klosterman. Is it Klosterman? We do Oh, yes! He's expensive. Yes! Let's go! He's 3.5k, guys. I researched his price prior to filming today. I actually did use him in, road in the um, RTG SBC today. I'll list him for like that. He should probably go for that. About 3k. Yeah, I'll go for 3k. Um, hopefully, he'll go for that. Haller might sell because he's in the Premier League. He Oh, he's 2k. To be honest, he might go up in price. Jonathan, Jonathan Vieira is expensive, isn't he? Oh no, he's 2k. With that price. Wait. FIFA myth, guys? Uh, Hold on. Why is he 13k when his max price is 10? What the hell? Okay. Is Bender expensive because of Bundesliga, maybe? 2k? Okay. Right, we need this look, guys, to be honest, to happen ASAP, don't we? So, yeah, we got to get going here. These packs are worth it. Like, no matter what, right? We should make profit. But now I'm nervous, right? So we're going to go for the prime gold player pack. Six rares. Can there be like a Dybala? Like an icon here? That'd be amazing. Still yet to get a walkout, guys. On the RTG. We do get boards, though. Portuguese goalkeeper. Okay. We do manage to pack pull Rui Patricio, who I think is like 4,000 coins. And again, it all adds up, right? Really helps out having all these players in the club as well. Uh, hold on, that guy might be worth something in Serie A. 2.8? Not really. Is he worth much there? Rui Patricio? I might keep hold of him, actually, for an SBC. And again, by keeping hold of these cards, guys, it means I can do SBCs for cheaper as well. 2.9k for him. Okay, cool. This guy in Lee Gun is English. Okay. He might be decent for SBCs. Okay, cool. We'll keep him uh, for future content. And then we'll just list um, Bender for, like, maybe 3.5 See what happens, right? Um, we'll go for it. Right, it's time for the big packs, guys. Not a single walkout yet from the advanced SBCs. One would be fantastic. Mega pack. We get... Boards. Portuguese again. Right mid. Wait, who's that? Pizzy. Huh. Didn't know he was 84. I thought he was 83. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. And Zaha, let's go. Finally, someone great. Isn't he like 30k? Yes, guys. Right, that has honestly covered more than half of those SBCs easily. That's huge. Massive dub there, guys. 42k for Zaha. Also, another big tip when obviously selling players, guys, if you pack someone like Zaha, if you pack someone who's like a bit expensive, like at least 10k, to be honest, I'd always search it for anyone above like 5k, maybe even lower than that, maybe 2 or 3k. Literally go on Footbin and just type in like Zaha, for example. I'll get his price up and he is 40,750 coins. So that is the price I'll literally sell him for right now on the RTG today on zero tier. So he should go for about that. Um, maybe 41k actually. Should go for that. Bang. He's on the market. 41k made there. Pizzy, I'll probably keep for now as I think I might need him for big SBCs coming out soon. Um, Pacheco there. Goalkeeper there. What's his price? 2,000. 1.4. Um, Morales might sell because he's good in the game. Oh, he does as well. Is he really 5k? Again, we got to research his price, guys, live on the video, right? So Zahar was 40.7. Morales is right now... Nice card, actually. He's 5k. So from that pack alone, if we sold everything, that's like 56, 57k. That's huge. Again, big dubs there, guys. I'll sell him for about, I think, 5k to be exact. Yeah, I sell him for about that, 5.2. He should sell now, so more coins for the RTG. 
This guy might be worth something as well. Maybe not, 950. Is Mariano worth something with a decent starter card? No, not at all. Okay. Um, either way, this has been a nice, like, few packs in a row, hasn't it? I'll take it. I'll take it. 32 coins there. That probably wouldn't sell. Right. We're going to go for the 50k pack. This was very cheap to do, guys. Very cheap. About 4,000 coins. We have still not got a walkout. I'm not joking. In the series. French, though. Left back. Okay. I thought we were about to get Mendy, which would have been insane. That would have been like 100k. Digne is a GG's, guys. Oh, let's get it. Digne in a pack. Who else do we get there? Not really anyone else, but bro, Digne is... Oh, he's only 12. He's really... AK? Okay. To be honest, I'm okay with that. 7.8k. Okay. 7.5 you should go for there, guys, I think, on the market. Which I'll take. The rest I'll probably keep for SBCs. Ron McNally, does he sell? 6k. Could sell him, but again, SBCs. Luke Shaw might sell. That might be a decent one to sell. Uh, 3k. I'll keep him for now. Still a few coins, though, isn't it? Um, that's okay. We'll sell these cards ASAP for like 2k, probably a pop there. So again, more coins, guys. Grinding hard here on the road to glory. As always, and here we go. Can we get 100k in this pack? Can we get a walkout? Can we get an inform? We don't get a single walkout. We still have not got our first walkout, guys. We don't even get a board in the rare mega pack. We get a guy who humiliated my team in the Champions League, Morata. How have we not got a walkout, by the way? It's crazy, isn't it? After packing Pele the other week, uh, it's mad. Right, we do get um, Minamino there, who might be... Oh, 2k, okay. Might keep him there. Taliso might be good to sell. What's his price? To be honest, 4k. Yeah, Taliso on the market, guys, there for 4k. That's fine, isn't it? 2.9 to 4k should sell now. Uh, Maratta. Again, 3k. If we sold everything, guys, we'd probably be above, like, the 500k mark right now. I'll keep those contracts there as well. And we'll sell this, guy. So I'll have a quick look at the transfer market, see who sold. But they were the packs, man. I still have got packs to do on the Road to Glory ASAP. So to make you guys aware, we have got these packs to be completed. So I've still got, like, what, five big packs to do. If we don't get a single walk, I'll be so surprised. Rare Mix Player Pack. Premium Gold Player Pack. There, so you guys can see that. Rare Mega Pack. Right, so we've got about, how much is that? 55 plus 35 is, uh, what's that, 90. Um, premium gold player pack, that's 105k. Sorry, 115k plus rare mix. It's about 130k worth of packs, right, of that one. Then I've also got this one to do. That's another rare mega pack for completing that one. So we've got another 100 and, what are we saying, guys? About 180k worth of packs to do. In fact, we've got more than that. 200k worth of packs, guys. So we've got, wow, we've got 240k's worth of packs to do. That's crazy. Maybe on tomorrow's video, guys, of this of Zero Tier of the Road to Glory, we can get our first walkout. I'm not joking. We've not got it yet. Here is hoping that we do get a huge player in the RTG to sell, to improve, well, to build our team, right? That's crazy. That really is. So this is the transfer list right now. As you guys can see, Martin's there to sell Zahar. We should be getting towards, I reckon, about the 500k mark after all these sales. Maybe about 450k, to be fair. So keep commenting, guys, with your ideas for my 400k squad builder in Zero to Hero. Please let me know in the comments down below. I'm going to compare the latest episode with today's comment and get like a compilation of what team I should choose, right? I did promise you guys that the highest rated comment on this video and the previous one would be the um the team i use so keep keep listening to those ideas guys for the best 400k team and to be honest i think what we'll do we'll have a look at the best rated comments from both videos and maybe like mix in the players into a really crazy team so we'll pick like the best kind of ideas and go from there but we've got so many coins now to build an incredible team kind of wait to show you guys an incredible hopefully 400k team to really start grinding division rivals for champions soon and many more crazy game modes, obviously, with an ultimate team. So massive thank you guys for the amazing support as always. Leave a like if you're enjoying Zero Tier. Can we 10,000 likes? That would be amazing. Subscribe for more FIFA 21 gameplay and have a very special day.